Welcome back to Keep It Real Boxing. This is Cypher Box. And Anthony Joshua recently in an interview with Sky Sports has stated that he doesn't want Deontay Wilder to bring any hype into the ring after his fight with Joseph Parker on March 31st. As you know, Anthony Joshua will be in a unification fight against Joseph Parker on March 31st. Deontay Wilder will be commentating for Sky Sports and Deontay Wilder has stated he will step into the ring and challenge Anthony Joshua face to face. Now, Anthony Joshua has turned around and said that he doesn't want to, he doesn't want Wilder to bring any of that hype. Basically, he says he's more than welcome to step into the ring, but I don't want him bringing any of that hype because the fight isn't isn't even signed yet. He's turned around and said that his, you know, the reason Vladimir Klitschko stepped into the ring, you know, when he was about to face Vladimir Klitschko, is because the fight was set, the deal was done, the contracts had been signed. You know what? Actually, best still, I'm going to play you the audio clip from the interview. And this is what it's about. It's building up to that big clash. Not, I'm a heavyweight champion. We're talking about undisputed heavyweight champion. And that's what we're building towards. So yeah, he's more than welcome. But the difference is when Klitschko came over to watch me in Cardiff, um, to watch me in Manchester, we had signed a deal. It was signed and sealed, providing our one. With Wilder, I'm just not into the hype. If he wants to come over, get in the ring and all that stuff, I just prefer if he actually had a, a fight in place to talk about. Because if not, it's just hype. And that's what I say, no one wants to hear about this percentage, who's ring walking first. Um, they just want to know that we're going to fight. They don't care about all the business and all that stuff that goes on in the background. So that's why I don't want to get in the ring and just turn it into a hype drill. I want to give the fans what they want. And um, I have been in touch with their camp since last December after I fought that camp. And it's something that we've been working on slowly. And we'll get there for sure. But Parker first. Yeah, you know, and that's where my head's at. But I think even if, like, God willing I don't, I'll just say as it is, even if I t took a loss against Parker, God willing I don't, me and Wild is a massive fight still. Me and Parker still a massive fight in a rematch. Do you know what I mean? Because we're big hitters, we're big players in the game, and we're all dedicated. So, um, you know, even if Wilder took an L against Ortiz, me and him would have still got it on sometime in the future. So, never worry. You know, one fight doesn't define us, because if it did, I would have been sitting back on the throne after that Klitschko fight. But I've got to keep on going. And if you take a, a little hiccup in your career, that shouldn't define you either. You just got to keep on going. So, there will always be more to come from us, because we've got a long way to go. As you can imagine, Deontay Wilder was extremely frustrated by this, and this was his response to what Anthony Joshua had to say. Look, I'm only I'm only messing here. I don't know I don't know if that was Deontay Wilder's actual reaction to what um, Anthony Joshua had to say to Sky Sports. Yeah, that's just me messing about. Look, let's get serious with this all though now. Yeah, all jokes aside, I have no idea what Anthony Joshua is banging on about. Like, really? You don't want Wilder to step into the ring and bring all that hype, is what he's saying. Okay, look, let me put it this way to you, yeah? Everyone's talking about this fight right now, yeah? We've had Eddie Hearn, you know, right at the beginning when first Wilder and Joshua was talked about, you know, last year. Eddie Hearn saying that the fight needs to be marinated, Wilder's not got a big enough name, etc, etc. And all the AJ fanboys out there and fangirls have been saying the same thing. They keep saying the same thing even now, right? So what better way to let the whole world know who Deontay Wilder is by then allowing him to step into the ring and get into the face of Anthony Joshua? I'm not saying he needs to go in there and beat him up on it or get into any sort of scuff. I don't want to see that. I want to see words exchange. And yeah, a lot of people are saying, well, that's disrespectful. I don't care. That's boxing. You know, in a build up to a fight, respect is left for after the fight. You, you shake each other's hand, you embrace each other, you know, and, and you, you, you show respect then. In a build up to the fight, there's, there's no need for that. Yeah, it's all about, I, I like all of that stuff. I like it when fighters get up in each other's faces. I like it when they trash talk one another. I enjoy all of that. It's entertaining to me. Yeah, I don't ever want to see that change in boxing, ever. Okay. And another thing is, like I said, people are saying, oh, well, no one knows who Deontay Wilder is. Well, the whole world's going to be watching Anthony Joshua versus Joseph Parker. He's going to be show, Showtime's going to be showing it in the US. Obviously, Sky Sports out here in the UK. It's going to be over God knows how many countries are going to be seeing it. New Zealand, Australia, etc. It's going to be worldwide, that fight. No doubt about it. 
It's a heavyweight unification fight between two young hungry champions. So what better way to announce Deontay Wilder to the world if they don't already know who he is, but then letting him step into the ring. And if AJ wins, of course, against Joseph Parker, I don't want to look past Joseph Parker, but if AJ wins, then what's the issue? You know, I don't see what the problem is. To be honest with you, here's how I see it. If Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn allow Deontay Wilder to step into the ring, yeah, should AJ beat Joseph Parker, allow Deontay Wilder to step in the ring and get into the face of Joseph, uh, get in the face of Anthony Joshua, do you know what? It's going to create demand because people are going to turn around and say, oh my God, AJ, are you really going to let that guy get away with punking you like that in the ring? Are you really going to let that guy get away with dissing you in front of your home crowd? Yeah, in front of all 78,000 Brits. Are you really going to allow him to do that? Are you going to allow the, him do that? Allow him to do that in front of the whole world who's watching on TV right now? And that's where the problem lies. The minute he allows him to do that, the minute the more pressure comes onto him to make the fight for this year. I'm, I'm not even joking. Because everyone's going to say, oh man, then, then you get the whole narrative. I don't think AJ's scared. Listen, I've always said this. I've always said that I think AJ beats Deontay Wilder. But then you're going to get this whole narrative from people saying that, oh, AJ ain't done nothing about it. He's not made the fight. AJ's scared. AJ's this. AJ's that. A lot of talk's going to get start happening. Yeah, I'm not saying AJ's scared or anything like that. But I do believe that AJ and Eddie Hearn are trying to put, up this, put off this fight at least till next year. They don't want to make this fight this year. If you're not ready to have the fight this year, fine, just say, I don't want it this year, we'll have it next year. But, like I said, it puts a lot of pressure then on Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn to make this fight sooner rather than later. So if you let Deontay Wilder in the ring and let him punk you like that in front of the whole world, you got to do something about it. You can't just you can't just sit there and say, oh, yeah, well, you know, I'll deal with him, you know, when I'm ready to deal with him, I'm not worried about him. And you know what I mean? Basically, what I'm saying is that you're going to have every boxing fan worldwide turning around saying, I want to see that fight next and applying more and more pressure. Now, you've been hearing Eddie Hearn talking about he wants to, he does want to make the fight this year. And, you know, AJ has been singing the same song. Um, but the reason, you know, last year they were saying, no, we're, you know, they were talking about 2019, maybe the year after. You know, we've seen the I played you the audio from the interview with Sky Sports that AJ did. Where, you know, last year where he was saying, oh, I'll fight Deontay Wilder when I'm good and ready to, you know, when it when it best suits me. Okay. Now all this pressure is it started to build up and come on to them. They were saying, oh, no, no, we definitely want to make that fight for 2018. That's the fight that's going to happen this year. That fight will definitely happen this year. It's been a complete change in their, in their tone, in their tune. Yeah, it's been a complete change in their tune. So if they allowed Wilder to get step in the ring now, again, if, if AJ beats Joseph Parker and let's let Wilder get up in his face, that's going to apply more pressure. And that's going to create more demand. And that's going to ask, then make the boxing fans call out and say, we want to see that fight this year. We don't want to wait till next year. Do you see what I'm trying to say? And that's what they're trying to avoid. That's the way I see it, in my opinion. I don't see it any other way. That's the only reason why you would not want Deontay Wilder to step into the ring. You know, who cares if the fight's not signed? It doesn't matter. The fight doesn't have to be signed. It doesn't have to be signed. It adds to the hype of the fight. And that's what boxing is all about. When you're promoting a fight, you need to create a lot of hype. And Deontay Wilder step into the ring, stepping into the ring to go face to face with Anthony Joshua and exchange words to him hypes the fight. They don't want to hype the fight because they don't want the fight to happen this year. And if, you know, if people out there are saying, oh no, that's not true, that's not true, then fine, let Deontay Wilder step into the ring. Prove me wrong. That you, you actually do want to have the fight this year. You wouldn't prevent it. Why would you prevent it? If that's your goal to have Deontay Wilder, jo Anthony Joshua this, this year, why would you prevent it? Do you hear what I'm saying? And another thing, I don't know what AJ is going on about when he's saying that no one's interested in the numbers. No one's interested in who gets what percentage, who gets to come out, you know, in terms of the ring walk first and announce first and all that sort. No one cares about the contractual details of the fight. That's not true because every one of AJ's fanboys and fangirls out there, every time I see a live podcast or, you know, 
a, po- a, a call-in podcast or I'm reading comment sections on social media, on YouTube videos. All I see is these guys, even my own videos when I've talked about the, the numbers of the fight and the contractual side of the fight. People are jumping on there, you know, talking numbers, talking numbers. This percentage, Deontay Wilder doesn't deserve 40%. He doesn't deserve 35%. He doesn't deserve 30%, etc., etc. Who's Deontay Wilder's face? Oh, Deontay Wilder was offered 10 million by uh, Eddie Hearn. He should have taken it. It's the biggest payday he ever got. That's that's nonsense, isn't it? You know, he's talking about no one cares about the um, cares about the numbers, but clearly people do care about the numbers because that's what they're talking about. That's all your fan base is talking about, the numbers, making excuses as to why this fight shouldn't happen or making excuses, you know, to try and block this fight. You know, John Tay Wilder doesn't deserve it. It's all that, you, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to repeat, I have to re- re- repeat everything that's been said on social media. You know what's been said. So again, AJ, wrong again. Giving false information out there that no one cares about the numbers when everyone's talking, that's all that everyone's talking about. The numbers, the percentages, who gets what. Not that you should care, because all you should care as a boxing fan is that this fight gets made. That's just my opinion, that's the way I look at it. I'm all for it. You know, I know there's a lot of people I've seen, I've been listening to other podcasts, live call-in podcasts and stuff like that, where people, there's a lot of people against it. You know, if you're against any of that sort of happening, any of that sort of stuff happening, and like I said, even a 60-40 split in favour of Anthony Joshua or a 65-35 split that's in favour of Anthony Joshua, if you're even against that kind of deal being broken uh, between the two individuals, the two fighters, then you don't want this fight to happen. And as far as I'm concerned, then you're not a real boxing fan. You know, go and watch, go back and watch uh, WWE or something like that. That's just my take on it. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, this is Scythebox reminding you to keep it real.